Shadow puppets are so much fun. You have two images, the one you see and the shape its shadow creates. The key is making a stage and having a light source. I love it. It's a great idea and so fun. It's super cute and these monsters are so playful. Definitely. Well, Candy, show us how we get started with the monsters. Okay, so first I'll show you what we need to actually make the monster puppets. So you're going to need some glitter glue, whatever color you want, and some freezer paper, skewers, craft sticks, pencil, scissors, some thick craft glue, and then the patterns, which you'll find on our website. So to get started, I covered a piece of foam core in the freezer paper, and it's key that you put the shiny side up. And Is that so the glue doesn't stick to it when it's dry? That's exactly right. And you could use a cookie tray too. Whatever you have, you just need a flat surface. Cookie trays are kind of nice because it Contained. can't run away. <laughs> yeah, <which laughs> this, this could be dangerous here. But anyway, you want to make sure that you get enough glue onto your piece. And then you're just going to kind of spread it out to make kind of a, a not thick layer, but not super thin either. But you want it, the key is to spread it out so that you have enough to fill your pattern. So you want to maybe reference the size of the pattern while you're spreading it out? Right. So the, yeah. It looks so neat. It does like look icing. neat. It does. And the cool thing about this glitter glue is that when this dries, which by the way, this will take like maybe overnight to dry, when it dries, these would make really cool pieces that you could put in your window too. Yeah, because it's transparent and you can see the light through, so neat. Right, so then you're going to um, get your patterns ready and you can see there's all different shapes of monsters. But the next thing you're going to do is cut out your pattern and then trace it onto cardstock. And I've gone ahead and done that here. And one of the tricky things about cutting Mm, just a second. I wanted to show you how to cut interiors. So if we go ahead and cut around the outside, and I'm using my super small scissors so I can get nice and precise cuts. And you could make these any style of monster that you want to, any color, you could use pattern paper. I'm, um, all, I'm excited about pattern paper. That would be fun too. Mm -hmm. But you just wanna make sure that the middle you can cut out so that you have somewhere for the light to shine through, right? Right. Okay, so then I just used a hole punch and that makes getting into these interior areas a little bit easier. I mean, um, I remember probably trying to stab through the paper when I shouldn't have been doing that. So don't do that. That's just a good use tip. Use a hole punch. Good idea. So you can cut through here and then get the belly of your monster cut out. And I can't wait to show you what the um, glitter glue looks like when it dries. It's awesome. So you would just keep cutting for your entire monster so that you have something like this. And also on our patterns, you'll find some arms with some little claws oh yeah, you at can't the end. The arms. Yeah, they've got a lot of character, no? Definitely. So look at this, check this stuff out. This, this is, is what so it looks cool. like when it dries. And you can see how it's nice and sparkly. And um, when you pull it from the paper, because you're using that freezer paper, it just peels right up, super easy. So you have this material now, and what we're going to do is put a little bit of glue, and I'm just gonna use the matching color of glitter glue that I used for the body, and make an outline. And I trimmed it to fit so it sits perfectly. I mean, it's not perfect up here, but you won't be able to see it on the back side. So that you don't have so much hanging over the edge. Right. So then what you're going to do is add some arms and we're gonna add a little bit more right here, which you'll see in a second. So we're gonna put some arms on here. <laughs> and I'm laughing because sometimes monsters can be spooky, but there's nothing spooky about these monsters. They're so cute. Um, and then you would want to put this maybe back on your freezer paper, 
put this piece over top and then set something like a glue bottle and I put the shiny side down. Put something like a glue bottle on top or a book or something that'll keep that all sandwiched together. So you wanna make it sure that it's really nice and flat while it dries, otherwise it might sort of curl up at the edges. Exactly. So now, show us how we make our background. Okay, so you'll need a display board. This is a trifold. And this is a kind of the mini, mini science fair version of display and some colorful paper. And you can also print out patterns for stars and planets, or you can cut them freehand, or you could use stickers or anything you like to create your background. So this is going to be your theater for the puppets and where you'll see their shadows. So just an easy technique for creating this kind of moonscape here at the bottom is to tear some paper. And you could use gray, you can use purple, any color that you think would work for your interplanetary adventures. <laughs> and when you tear it, just kind of tear it in a rounded motion like that. I love that edge. It looks great, huh? I love everything, let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> you just love all I'm things very crafty. Aware of it. <laughs> and then you'll spread your glue around the edge and paste it onto your board. Now, one thing that to keep in mind is, see, I wouldn't want to put it like this because there'll be some white here. So I'll just scoot it over so that I have some gray in, in my scape. And see here where it's going to crease so that you can close it and stash this away when you're not using it. And um, it's super easy. I mean, all you did for the sides is just cut a couple extra pieces that you went ahead and adhered to the background, right? That's right. Yeah, just a few extra pieces of paper is all you'll need to cover this whole background. But because the paper was only eight and a half by 11, that's why I have this white showing at the bottom of the page and I'm going to cover it with my mountain skate. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's going to look great. Oh, I missed by just a little bit. That's spot. okay. I'll add we can cover little. it up. I'm working really hard on my shredding. You know, if you want to create a particular kind of shape with tearing paper, you can use a wet paintbrush to go over the top. And any place where it's wet, then the paper just tears. I had no idea. That's a good little tip for you, huh? I like it. <laughs> so then you can arrange your stars and your planets. And you have some, you could even use some of your glitter glue if you wanted to decorate your scene and create a really pretty sky for your monsters to be in front of. And I like the idea of hanging those monsters in the window too. Me too. They would make fun sun catchers. So then you're getting some shadow and some sun. Let's see. Put our planet up here in the distance. I kind of even like this paper having a little areas that aren't glued down because it adds a little dimension. It does, yeah. You know, I like You dimension. could tack it down if you want to, but mm -hmm. yeah. And you could sprinkle some sand and glue. Ooh, you could add some real rocks. Real you moon rocks. Yeah. And you could even brush on some of your blue glitter over the top to add some sparkle. That's right, you sure could. I that love would be sparkle. a good one. So then when you're ready, you definitely want to let this dry. Yeah. Oh, but what about this? We could <laughs> use a piece of this and tuck it in. I can't stop playing with it. I know, it that so would neat. look great. So let's take a look at our finished um, puppet theater, our okay. monster theater. It's so cute. It is adorable.